Hi there, everybody. Uh, welcome to my second consecutive In Memoriam video. Making two In Memoriam videos in two days. Nothing I like, but, you know, I guess this was something I knew that would happen eventually when I got into classic rock music when I was a little kid. I knew as I grew up these things would begin happening, and it's very upsetting, of course. Today we learned that uh, Charlie Watts, drummer of the Rolling Stones, uh, who had previously announced that he was not going to take part in the upcoming Rolling Stones tour dates due to a medical procedure, has now passed away at the age of 80. Um, normally when I do an In Memoriam video like this, I like to go in depth into the career of the individual that I'm covering and their, their whole career arc and story, but the Rolling Stones... Um, legacy and career is so legendary already that I'm sure everybody watching this pretty much already knows he was the drummer of the Rolling Stones for approximately 60 years. It was the early 1960s that they got together and throughout those entire 60 years um, Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, and Charlie Watts were the three constants uh, in the band. Um, of course Bill Wyman uh, retired in the mid-1990s, uh, the original bassist, who I know he had a cancer scare a few years back. I think he's doing better now, but he remains retired. Um, yeah, I had just done a video a couple of weeks ago when it was announced that Charlie would not take part in the upcoming tour, and I mentioned in that video that uh, this was not a retirement, that hopefully he would be back behind the drums again soon and uh it seemed so weird that the rolling stones would carry on without charlie and with just mick jagger and keith richards but i suppose that now uh this is a reality this is uh what it's gonna have to be going forward i've seen a lot of hardcore rolling stones fans talk about how um it, the Rolling Stones can't carry on with just Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. That the Rolling Stones are not the Rolling Stones without Charlie Watts. And I get that. Um, I do I do also kind of see it from both sides. Um, as much as you're right. I mean, the Rolling Stones are not the Rolling Stones without Charlie Watts. We've never seen the Rolling Stones without Charlie Watts. He's always been the steady backbeat. And as I mentioned in that last video... Um, a band changes so much uh, when they change drummers. Uh, every, Literally every drummer has their own groove, so it's never quite the same. We have never heard the Rolling Stones with any other drummer, so that's going to be very strange. Um, but it's going to happen. I mean, I haven't heard any official announcement, but... They had already announced that Charlie wouldn't take place in the upcoming 2021 tour dates, so I can only imagine that those are going to go ahead as scheduled, and that Steve Jordan will fill in on the drums. As I mentioned in that last video, uh, Steve Jordan had previously... I mean, he, he's been a famous uh, touring and studio drummer. Uh, he's worked with... Uh, he worked on Rolling Stone's side projects before. He's, of course... He was with uh, Keith, Richard, Keith Richards in the uh, famous Expensive Winos band. He was the drummer for that band. He's also worked in the SNL band and the Letterman band and lots of bands. And I'm sure he'll do a great job behind the kit for the Rolling Stones, but it'll never be the same. I wonder if he'll be an official new member. I imagine it'll be kind of like The Who. Um, the Who, of course, um, when... Uh, Keith Moon, and then later John Entwistle passed away. Their replacements were not listed as uh, full-blown members of The Who, but uh, and that, that, that makes sense, you know. They're kind of saying that their legacy will never be touched. Of course, what am I saying? They already have Daryl Jones, who's been their bassist since Bill Wyman left in the 90s, um, while he's been rock solid as the touring guy for the last... Just a long time. Uh, he's not totally recognized as like a full-blown member of the Stones. But, um, yeah, but he's done a good job, as I'm sure Steve Jordan will do. But 
just feels so weird, so wrong for the Rolling Stones to continue without him. Um, but at the same time, the other thing I was going to say, at the same time, as a classic rock fan and as a Rolling Stones fan, I also want Mick Jagger and Keith Richards and Ronnie Wood, of course, to keep doing that as long as they can. Um, you know, who knows how long they're going to be physically capable of touring. I do feel like they might as well keep doing it while they can. But like I said, they haven't technically made an official announcement. Um, as of the time I'm filming this, Charlie Watts died today. So no official announcement regarding the tour, but I imagine it will happen. I am so, I'm now so, I feel so lucky to say that I got a chance to see the Rolling Stones um, in Seattle in 2019. Filmed a vlog down there. Um, which I'll link to in the description. Um, it, uh, with that goes down in history now as Charlie Watts, uh, fifth to last concert with the band, um, in his, like, 60-year career, how many, I don't know, thousands of concerts he did, I got a chance to see him in his last, what would become his last month of touring with the Rolling Stones in August of 2019, um, and although he did do one more performance at one of those uh, sort of live stream events in the early days of COVID in, in 2020. That would be his last uh, appearance with the Rolling Stones. So sad to say. So sad to say that that is his last appearance performing with them. But that era of the Rolling Stones is sadly over. Um, that era of rock and roll is over. He was, again, like I said, so steady behind the drums. He had a distinctive style. He would never really play the hi-hat at the same time as the snare. He had this kind of goofy style where he'd lift off the hi-hat when he hit the snare. I saw a joking post on some message board somewhere saying, that's how he lived so long and that's how he had such a longevity in that band. They said he saved enough energy by miss skipping those hi-hat hits that he was able to continue for so long. Who knows what his real secret was, but one of the uh, posts about his death made a mention that it was a an incredible display of physical endurance that he was capable of performing these uh, two-hour stadium shows with the Rolling Stones uh, until he was 78 years old. So that's incredible. So the Rolling Stones have lost, and the Rolling Stones and the world have lost Charlie Watts today. Major loss to the world of rock and roll. And I'm so sad to hear that. Um, yeah. Let's hope that the next time I make the vlog, we are not meeting in this way. Um, so sad that I have to do all these in memoriam uh, videos. Um, sad times, but uh, I think I'll take some time to listen to some Stones albums and remember uh, the incredible legacy of Mr. Charlie Watts.